share everything that we had done this session to see the theme and if there was a theme and everything. And I was interested that there are some things that definitely continue that is included in this one. We started with the horizon. Uh, and I, I found that that was a very interesting, to me it was very interesting, and I found it opened up some thoughts that have a lot to do with composition, background, and anything you do, whether it's still life, landscape, or whatever. And so that kind of carried through. Um, another thing that carried through was humility. Uh, and I don't necessarily mean personal humility, but that's perfectly acceptable too. But I meant more the uh, 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 concentrating on humble objects or surprising ways yes, of looking at them. And um, so that is included in today. And so I, I have an array of things that are uh, sometimes surprising and the, there's a double type surprise which is, and we've done this in the past so sometimes in different ways, but things immersed in water, so you see them differently, partly uh, in a phys physics, with Judy, physics sense because of the distortions of immersion, sometimes because the glass breaks the things, and you see, if you look at any one of these, you see things going through, under, over, around, and through Sesame Street. Um, so those, that is a continuum. Um, I uh, just thought I would mention a, this series that I did, um, oh, which, uh, which oh, Melanie knows very that, well, because oh. I, I showed a lot of these together at yeah. Lombardi yeah, I Cancer Center, um, and I didn't buy them. Um, and they, what they they express something that I'm very interested. In. If anyone wants to read my oh, yes. my write up about this, you can because they, they, there's a derivation from Asian art, uh, and I used or simulated made up. Um, these scre Japanese screens behind them as a as a compositional thing because they, they integrate, but they also are you know and they, I mean they play formally image wise, but they also it does things to bring the composition together in terms of color and everything else. And the Asian concept is important to me. And then that goes into wonderful things. And we mentioned this was a when we talked about the font thing, about the meanings of things. And I find that is a fascinating thing. Um, and I wrote down here some of them. Um, I mean, may not necessarily be in here. Cherry, though. Cherry is ephemeral beauty. The morning glory, and I'm sorry I don't have them because it's illicit love. <laughs> <laughs> the peony, which we had yes. last week, was, is regal wealth. It's a very, oh the is extremely important in Asian art. Um, and I say Asian advisedly for, uh, because uh, these went through from China to J Japan. It was a real crossover as it filters down. The crane and pine, which I love, um, are longevity. Love that. Um, the crow, which I also love, is messenger of the gods. It's mm -hmm. not to be conveyed. Um, and we kind of, where did you and, know uh, this from? Um, I most of, a lot of it from that, I have a number of books, and there's just so much. I didn't oh, write, yeah, right. write down anything near. You know, because we talked about the Mellon and, and right, the 7th right. century Dutch. There are other, other yeah, things, and there are other food. religious Christian things that, that right. write. The ra rabbits and the moon yeah, yeah. are fertility. What the moon? <laughs> rabbits <laughs> and the moon. Yes. Well, well, that's uh, that's uh, that's that's any of you who are familiar with haiku will be, will pick up on all of this too, because haiku almost always, um, the haiku forms, almost always contains seasonal, seasonal, mundane, um, humility, and also often humor, which is quite wonderful if you read this. Um, okay, so that, that anyway, I, I did a, this series. Uh, they were all fairly, they were large, I mean, full sheets. Um, and I utilized different things, different things that, you know, as in these, to you know, sort of surprise the eye or the mind um, that weren't necessarily traditional, just perfect flowers and perfect fruits all in the perfect way. I wanted to use the glass to do the reasons I've said before. And I wanted to use um, the, uh, some of these things, like suddenly putting in artichokes or eggplant. Uh, 
had that. Onions. I've got that on, on my gold yeah. board. My studio. I have some more. If anyone I wants see it one. every day. Uh, I love oh, this one. Deborah, uh, didn't they have a goldish background? This does. Oh, yeah. 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 Some had a goldish background. Did and you do that? How did you do well, I did that with some powdered paint, not not gold leaf. Uh, this is a silver. Some of them are silver backgrounds. This is a silver background. Um, and those, I can't, I did about, I did a number of Are you them. doing the series again? Um, <laughs> I would love to, this. here's my second point about this. I love doing this. It is the, one of the few times when I'm painting, when I'm really just, Inside. so, and I just, it's so delightful. And that is a little bit what I saw, talked about here. Just the enjoyment of working uh, something that you like to paint, that, that just goes onto the paper in a way you think, this is so much darn fun to uh, paint a peach. I mean, actually peaches are super fun. Um, they, you, you also get the chance to, um, to play with uh, color combinations, so you, you've got all your, you know, your other part of your brain going. Um, cherries are also fun. And the different qualities of Things, the fuzziness of a peach, uh, the tautness of the skin on a, uh, the, these shiny cherries or, or grapes, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so, uh, so that is in my handout, the, the degrees of that, because I just started babbling around at the bottom, and I won't read it, but you can read it if you want, um, about how the, the joy of watercolor and the Starting with, to me, one really important thing, that this is a medium where the processes are visible in the painted surface more than in any other media. Um, your, how that paint went down, uh, looking at yours, uh, in order to convey what it was you wanted, say, a shiny surface or a fuzzy surface, how it went down, but then how, what happens on the surface? What happens on the paint, in the paint? And that is, I think, kind of peculiar to work with. Uh, so, there we are. That's about all I'll say, except that again, here's my um, selections of the day. Uh, the variety of watercolor, except I'm sorry, a couple of these aren't watercolor, but, um, but I put them up because they are uh, varieties of working at this planar level, which these are. And you could just look around and Susan see there. There's a, oh, I'm Abbott. sorry, it's not planar. Susan Abbott, Gary Bacock, and you have his book. And he's a delightful painter with this old stuff. I have, what do they call it? It's the first print poem. I have one of those. Oh, yeah. It's all the old edition? No. What is it? Oh, an artist book? Yes. Oh, oh OK. But these are just different things. Um, the Susan Abbott actually is the bird's eye thing, which we're not yes. doing today. But, uh, um, and that's m uh, mine from ages ago. Uh, that, that is a uh, white, white on white kind of thing. Uh, oh, I can see right now. Oh, oh dear. No, I, 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 I have those. I like this one. Um, and I just think, if you look at these, you may see this, this other yeah. idea. Sure. The other ideas that come out of one. Yeah. 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 yeah.